Hi guys, it's Peter here again from peachesandscreams.co.uk and coming up today, four reasons you should try Sensation Play. You know, in the West, the act of sex purely for the fun and sensation aspects of it gets a pretty bad press, don't you think? It's sometimes seen as seedy, certainly by some, and that can cause a bit of a problem. Here in the East, in Thailand, where I'm based right now, sex is seen differently. In my experience, it doesn't appear to have the same seediness attachment to it that it has in the West, and in my opinion, that's a much healthier attitude to take, certainly from a psychological viewpoint. I'll probably talk some more about these cultural differences in attitudes to sex in future videos because I think we can all learn something from it. But for now, let's talk about sensation play. Now, sensation and sex are two words that go together extremely well. I guess unless you're thinking of the act of sex as purely procreational, the thought of sex without sensation is a pretty grim prospect. So, sensation and sex go together very nicely indeed. At least that's my take on it anyway. Sensation play is an art form that manipulates the body's survival skills to ensure that the submissive gets a dose of some powerful sensations. From pain stimulation to pleasure stimulation, sensation play uses various techniques to achieve the intended purpose of the session. The tools used range from standard non-threatening toys to some complicated toys that require a bit of experience to fully understand their operation. Sensation play is very satisfactory, but there is always an inherent risk involved with the toys, so ensure that you read the toy guides before starting the session. However, some of the great benefits of indulging in sensory play include the following. Pain triggers the brain to produce the natural painkillers, endorphins. These hormones mimic the effects of codeine and morphine, indulging the body in a high light never before. With sensation play, pain is often delivered in one form or another. With techniques such as paddling and flogging, the pain is at a higher level as compared to spanking and some levels of clumping. The pain inflicted by the sensation play toys registers in the same way, making sure that every pleasure is followed by a rush of endorphins into the system. This makes the whole session a confusing mix of pain and pleasure, giving your body a hard time differentiating the two. This confusion raises the anticipation, making every subsequent stimulus much more powerful. This emphoric high becomes an addictive aspect of sensation play, having your submissive eagerly looking forward to the next session. Next, Supreme Sensations. Sensation play is aimed at making sure that every stimulation is felt on a higher scale by making sure that the body's sensitivity is at an all-time high. With sensation play tools designed to either increase sensitivity or manipulate this sensitivity, you can always count on them to deliver the most intensive and nerve-stimulating sensations. Always ensure that you fully understand your partner's boundaries to ensure that you do not deliver more than they can handle. When properly applied, the stimulations deliver the best sensations that stimulate the nerves and in some cases even lead to non-penetrative orgasms. As foreplay, sensation play ensures that the penetrative session is way better as every stroke is felt on a grand scale, ensuring that both parties get to end the session in orgasmic bliss. Whether sensation play is a means to an end or the main event, you are always guaranteed a deep stimulation that will have you coming back for more. Next, anticipatory excitement. Sensation play is sometimes delivered in the form of orgasm delay. With incorporation of sensation play into chastity play, the submissive is taken to the edge with every touch, but the end is never attained. This form of sensation play takes a huge toll on the submissive psyche and they remain in a state of constant anticipation. 
This craving for a grand release keeps the body in high gear for the entire session, making every touch very intensely pleasurable as well as torturous. The conflicting sensations drive the submissive to the edge and yet they never get to tip over. This exercise of absolute power is also intoxicating to the dominant who enjoys every single moment spent holding the submissive hostage to the sensations. Sensation play serves to pleasure both the submissive and dominant by feeding their needs, although they may be very different. This makes the finale such a grand release that it gives both of them an intoxicating feeling that they strive to achieve over and over again. Next, increased bond. Sensation play ranges from mild sensory deprivation to some really hardcore sensory modification. For this reason it's imperative that the dominant sticks within the limits to ensure that no harm befalls the submissive. With elevation to even more complicated techniques, the submissive learns to trust the dominant even more, making the bond even tighter. Sensation play requires total surrender. And when this is not abused, you learn to trust your partner with even greater toys, cementing the already tight relationship even further. Indulge in some sensation play and discover just how far you can go with your partner without feeling any crippling fear or intense discomfort. Okay guys, thanks for watching and if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget, you can get all your favourite sex toys at peachesandscreams.co.uk. We add new products each week, so you're sure to find something new. And why not subscribe to the Peaches and Screams YouTube channel for more guides, tips and reviews. My name's Peter, have fun, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.